Hello everybody, Shreve's Play here and I have a very interesting video for you today. So, basically the people at Mojang have decided to help people to learn how to code and they are doing this through the code.org website. This helps like people of all ages from all generations to learn how to code and it's so awesome. There is an hour tutorial, I'm not going to do that obviously because it, this video is supposed to be 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the basics of it, probably go to three or four tutorials and then you can do it yourself at home. So let's jump straight in. So what you need to do, you need to go to code.org right here and you'll see this beautiful picture on here. It's actually in a beta right now. So you can join the website as well as I've done already or you can try it for yourself. So let's go here and press try it. All right, so this will actually uh, give you the opportunity to sign in, make your own profile and stuff as well. So I'm actually gonna do that. Uh, let me just sign in real quick. Okay, so once you've done that, you just press this try now button right here and it'll teach you everything you need to do. Obviously there are video tutorials as well. So we'll watch one or two videos just to get a hint for it. My name is Jens Bergensten, but I'm better known as Jeb. I'm the lead developer of Minecraft here at Mojang in Stockholm. Before you start, you'll pick your character. I'm going to choose Alex. Let's build code for a program that will help her move around the screen. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is the Minecraft play space where your program will run. The instructions for each level are written below. This middle area is the toolbox and each of these blocks is a command that directs Alex's actions. The white space on the right is called the workspace, and this is where we'll build our program. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to go through every single video. There are three videos that are about five to six minutes long. So we're just going to jump straight into it. So I'm going to pick Alex, obviously, for obvious reasons. Okay, so puzzle one of 14. Add a second move forward command to reach the sheep. Okay, so you can see over here, Alex is here, the sheep's here. So what we need to do is, so when it runs, it'll move forward twice. We can run that now. And there we go, we got it. So it's pretty cool. And it does get harder as you progress. And also you should go here and see what we've actually done in the JavaScript, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, two of 14. Wood is a very important resource. Many things are made from it. Walk to the tree and use destroy block command to chop it down. Okay, so we need to do, what we need to do, we need to move forward two times and destroy a block. You can see that right here. So we press run. And there we go, it's as simple as that basically. I've actually already completed the tutorial so I'm just doing this to show you how it actually works. Again, I'll show you the code. So this is what you would write in JavaScript. Sheep shearing time. Use the shear command to gather wool from both sheep. Okay, so this is what I've done. So when run, move forward twice, then shear the sheep, turn right, move forward again, and then shear the other sheep. Shear that one. And there you go. Simple as. Okay, so those are the three um, easiest tutorials you can get on this puzzle. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to skip over to a couple of the other harder puzzles so you can see how this actually works. Okay, so this is puzzle 10 of 14. So basically, walking into mortal lava is a bad idea. Place cobblestone to create a bridge. Then mine at least two of the iron blocks. So you see what I put down here. Uh, so when run and move forward place a cobblestone repeat two times so do this loop so move forward twice and then move forward and destroy the block twice so let's do this and there you go there you have it Alex did hit her head on the wall but it's actually it's, it's fine don't worry about it she's fine <laughs> so let's move on to the next one all right 11 of 14 Lava is hiding beneath some of these blocks, which you'll need to cover up before moving forward. And if command will come in handy here. Add a move forward command in the correct place to mine these blocks. Alright, so what basically what I've done is I've put an if statement in there with a loop. So when you press the run button, it will run this seven times and every time it will check if there's lava underneath that block. If there is, it will place cobblestone and it will move forward. It will move Alex forward, so let's do this. So you see, it's actually pretty easy to code Minecraft. It's pretty easy to code JavaScript. Let's 
and there you go. That's your JavaScript, and that is how you move Alex in Minecraft. So this basically teaches you the mechanic of Minecraft, how they code Minecraft, and why Minecraft is so... So here is the code for JavaScript. Um, that's all I'm going to do for this tutorial because I don't want it to go so long. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, show me your support, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.